Altcoins go up, altcoins go down. Today, we're taking a look at some key data that came out over the day yesterday. We're also taking a look at some altcoins that do very well once they dip. We're going to give you guys a few so that when there is another dip, you're going to be ready for these altcoins because we've seen them time and time again rally very well and very fast from these dips. So we're giving you guys all that information in today. So if you are new, to the channel make sure you subscribe and smash the like button check out the vip discord you are going to get access to some private sales we're also going to take a look at two newly launched ai coins and deep in coins we're going to give you guys that information as well so definitely check out those links in the description below so the big piece of news from yesterday is the fomc meeting our boy Powell was speaking and basically to summarize everything, they are not cutting rates just yet. They have paused the rate increases. They're not cutting rates as the EU has done and as Canada has done. They are basically not ready to do so. And in my opinion, this was definitely what the market was expecting. Although we did still get some positive news yesterday morning with the CPI or the inflation index coming in lower than expectations. So there is definitely some progress being made in the States, but the Fed is still not ready to cut rates. That move was kind of expected. And if we take a look at what happened to the price of Bitcoin over the day today as this FOMC meeting was ongoing. Well, we definitely have, you know, some very exciting information as the CPI was released. We had Bitcoin pump from about, you know, the lows of 66,000 all the way back up to almost 70,000. Then later on in the day as we had the FOMC Basically, you know, saying that they were not cutting rates. We had another dip down and it has slowly recovered here. But right now, Bitcoin is ranging around 68,000. And ultimately, if we zoom out once again, I always like to do this just to look at where we are. We are still in the very similar range as we've been for the better part of the last month. Anywhere from, you know, this 71 to 50 all the way to 72,000. And on the low side, we are right around, you know, the 66,000. We haven't been below 66,000 since back here, which is May 17th. So exactly almost one month to the date where we have just been ranging in this range for Bitcoin. Yes, we have seen altcoins that take a beating though. So if we take a look at the total three chart and see where we are right now for altcoins, well, again, you know, we are still at some very key levels of support on this total three chart. We haven't had a day close below this 630 billion, which is definitely a good sign. And if we take a look, at the others chart as well so this chart is the crypto coins excluding the top 10 and once again here we are seeing that we haven't had a day close well we've had one here but we haven't really found or fell below this 255 billion dollar mark and we even have lower here at about 233 billion but Ultimately, again, I'm going to repeat myself, Bitcoin still in that range, altcoins have suffered, but ultimately they are still in this range as well. So if we take a look at two new very popular altcoins that were all the talk in the last two months, we can talk about IO.net. This one here launched yesterday. The token generation happened yesterday or two days ago as you are watching this. And we can see that this thing launched around $3.50-ish. And as it, you know, continued throughout the last few days, we have seen an increase in price. And right now, IO.net is sitting around $5.72. So, this is, of course, a brand new coin. It is an AI deep in play. We're talking about a decentralized GPU network 
And if we take a look at the fully diluted valuation here, or the fully diluted market cap, we're sitting just shy of a three billion. And the circulating market cap is around a 550 million. So right now, this is obviously a very popular play. It's one of the only ones that is doing quite well, up 54% over the last 24 hours. I do suspect that it is going to continue doing relatively well compared to the entire market. This is probably one of the first launches of this year that has seen an upwards trajectory as it had its token generation event. I know countless times with, you know, all of the other launches this year that were at very high FDVs, we've seen dumps and only dumps. So this is definitely a good sign for IO.net. And to take a look at the tokenomics, which is definitely something I would recommend you guys do, this is still inflationary, so we have yearly rates of emission in their tokenomics or in their documents. Have a look at that. And we also have the total allocation here, the vesting. So you need to be aware of when these coins are coming into circulation. You also need to be aware of the different aspects of this ecosystem. How are the coins allocated? So of course, we've talked about IO.net before. But this is good that 50% of the total allocation is for the community. We have seed rounds. We have series A rounds. So those are going to be vested over time. Again, not coming unlocked all at once here. But this is something you need to be looking at when you are investing in new coins. Because if there is a lot of dilution in the early months of a new token generation event, there is going to be some selling pressure. So staying along the lines of new tokens and new token generation events, we have Ether. This one here we covered on the channel. We gave you guys opportunities inside of the VIP Discord for the nodes, for the token, and now for their new Ether Edge device. I just got my Ether Edge, so this bad boy here, I'm going to be setting up in the next couple days here. This is essentially going to allow me to mine some ATH tokens. They've reserved 23% of the total supply for this specific device, the Ether Edge. There is a still an upcoming sale that you can get your hands on. And we are offering some VIP access here. If you are in our Discord within the VIP section, we are offering whitelists to people who want to get in on this upcoming sale, which is on July 2nd. These devices cost about $1,000. And if you are within the VIP Discord, we're going to be able to get you guys whitelisted so that on July 2nd, you have the best chance to get in and secure yourself a device before they sell out. So if you're interested in that, definitely have a look at the links down below. But we also had the token sale in our VIP Discord. The valuation of that sale was at $1.2 billion. And as we can see with the token generation event today... Ether is sitting around $0.08, cents and it's at a fully diluted market cap of $3.2 billion. So everybody who got in at that $1.2 billion valuation is already up about 2.5x. Of course, there is a vesting and so on and so forth. But this is one of the projects, you know, that everybody was talking about. We participated in it, and it is doing quite well with this token generation event and again i would definitely recommend going into you know their tokenomics understanding what is happening within this token as well as taking a look at their vesting because of course every token every new token is going to continue diluting over the months and years to come. So if we switch gears and we talk about some of the altcoins that always pump very fast once we get a sentiment shift after Bitcoin dumps, after altcoins dump, well, what I like to do is I like to go on CoinMarketCap 
and to really understand which coins are doing the best once we get a market sentiment switch, which we have seen a couple of those over the day yesterday. So we can go and toggle this 24 hour percentage. This is going to show us which coins are rallying and where money is going when dips are happening and which coins are being bought up the most. So we have a live peer here. This is a video streaming platform. I'm not in this one. We have NotCoin, which we've talked about. This is that gaming coin on the Ton blockchain, which has blown up over the last few weeks. Then if we go on to more traditional altcoins that we've talked about on the channel for quite some time, we have a render. This thing went below $8 just yesterday. It's back up 15% for the last 24 hours. We have Fetch.ai up 15%. Injective doing quite well over the last week. It hasn't even dipped that much. It's been continuing to go up, sitting at about 15% for the last 24 hours. Another one that has recovered very well is a Uniswap. And you also have, you know, Pendle and Ondo, which is going with the Ethereum narrative in the Ethereum spot ETFs that are coming later this summer. We also have Ondo with RWA and BlackRock. So those are some very, very interesting coins to look at when they dip because that dip is one that doesn't last for a long time. And those are showing a lot of strength. And when you are in a market like we are seeing right now, you are going to get those altcoins that are not doing anything and that just continue going down. And you want to be looking at the ones that are showing strength. So if we kind of wrap all this together, well, we definitely have AI showing a lot of strength. We also have the Ethereum narrative in Pendle as well as ETH in itself showing strength. We have this RWA narrative as well, mainly with Ondo. We also have the Bitcoin ecosystem. So of course, Bitcoin is still in this range, but Stacks definitely one to look at as well as it is, you know, up 10% over the last 24 hours. And we also have meme coins. Definitely continue looking at those. We made a full video on the top five I'm looking at yesterday. And we also have the Ton blockchain doing well. So we are seeing that those are some of the narratives and coins within narratives that are bouncing back quite fast. And we still have laggers in those spaces. So if we just take a look at Render, as we said, it is up 15% over the last you know day or so. If we take a look at the last seven days, this thing was just below $8.00. Yes, I'm using coin market cap here, but if you go on trading view, depending on the exchange you're looking at, it was a sub $8. But if we compare it with one that was, you know, very close in range prior to this move here, we're seeing that a cash network very similar in what render is doing. We're talking about a decentralized cloud for GPU. Well, we can see that now a cash is lagging behind render. So We've had, you know, a pump on a cash and then it's only been down for it. And we also see that render has hit bottom and from the bottom, it's come back up. So if you are bullish on the AI space, you're seeing a render as a leader. So this could be an opportunity to look at laggers. And we have spotted one right here where, you know, over the last seven days, we have rendered down 15%, but a cash is still down about 20 to 25%. So you have those leaders and laggers for every narrative. I would definitely continue looking at the top narratives you're bullish on. As I've said time and time again, I'm bullish on memes, on AI, on gaming, on a deep end. But to take a look at the gaming space right now, it isn't very, you know, nice in terms of what's happening and which coins are rebounding other than not coin. No idea what this one here at a $31 million market cap, but ultimately I am in metal. This one, it's bouncing, but the gaming space as a whole isn't doing much still yet. So again, I'm continuing to monitor all of these different narratives. And ultimately, I do believe that gaming is going to have that peak 
once again that next run on gaming but i don't think it's going to be just yet and if we do see more downside pressure on bitcoin gaming coins it could continue going down so i am looking at it but i'm not you know seeing that big rally as we are seeing with other coins specifically in ai as well as memes so that's what i wanted to share with you guys today of course We've had some very important news with the FOMC meeting today. The rates are not cut. The CPI, although, did come lower. And we have seen new coins emerge in the AI space and deep in space that have done well. So continue monitoring those. Definitely have a look at the VIP Discord if you want to get your hands on a whitelist for the Ether Edge upcoming sale. And of course, you're not going to be missing any of the future sales that we have with different projects. We have done over 25 sales with the different projects. So we are definitely trying to keep up with the space and give you guys the best deals possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts on which narratives you're looking at during these different crypto dips. And of course, if you've enjoyed the video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.